What's good guys in this video I wanted to break down kind of a I don't know just kind of a, a route that we haven't talked about in a long time I, actually I don't think we've talked about it in about two years in Madden and I think it's actually better than we think it is and I wanted to take a stab at it today this is a route that used to be one of the most effective concepts in Madden and most people have gone away from it and that is the um, short side C route out of the gun bunch formation and we're gonna be using a couple different variations of it today in the video um, to walk you through why I think this is actually a really really good route it's really good for man-to-man -man. it's really good for a zone it's really good for almost anything that they're gonna throw to you especially for the way that most people like to defend bunch this year the way most people are defending gun bunch is they are kind of only focusing on the three on the back side or on the left side they're only really thinking that you're gonna run an in route inside breaking pattern like a in route or a post and so um just wanted to share this with you you can find this in almost any bunch formation in the game i'm in the detroit playbook um but you can find this in anything now if you're watching and you have not joined my patreon yet i would really encourage you to to join that it's only 10 bucks to sign up for it and you get all my ebooks my bunch ebook is in there and it's been obviously probably the best offense this year. Okay, so uh, what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna go back over here to nickel 335 wide to teach from, just because we have a bunch of different uh, variations and coverages. And we're gonna start with no zone drop. So I wanna walk you through kind of how this is a really good route combo and, um, and show you that as well. Now, you can do a couple different things with this. So we're gonna get uh, a couple audible set here. I've got to play PA post. I think PA post is a very underrated play this year. Um, and then we've also got Z spot and go. That's the play that we're gonna probably come out in. And then we'll see if there's any other C routes in this playbook, but that's the main concept, okay? Um, and then what you're gonna see with this is I've got Mike Evans there. Now, Mike Evans has deep at elite, but he doesn't have like great route running or anything. Um, he's kind of an average receiver, if you will, in my opinion. And you've got your bunch to the wide side of the field. Now, a couple, we can kind of do whatever you want to do on the right. So I'm not too concerned um, with the right side. Really, I think the best concept, honestly, is to uh, put your tight end on a, um, you can put your tight end on a flat. Um, and then you could actually take this little Z spot and go route and actually motion it out and snap it. And what you'll notice is a lot of times if they're in like a third, you'll see that this will fall back. So I'll show you real quick one more time. This is more of a short side concept um, out of this. But if they're so like here, I'm in cover three. And what you'll see is a lot of times he'll actually not play this corner. Okay, so you can kind of still have the corner without having to have a fade route. Um, if you want to have a fade route, then just do something like this. This is a really, really good route. Now, let's talk about the C route. So um, I'm going to start first with cover four drop. And basically all you're going to do is when he cuts to the outside, you're going to throw a down and outside pass lead and you're going to uh, possession catch it. So down outside. Now you see their cover four played it okay, but notice something that's really interesting. If the cover four plays the C route, watch what happens. This table route, pass lead that up, you're gonna get about nine to 10 yards. So if they don't have a hard flat on the field, generally speaking, this table route is going to be wide open. So again here, just pass lead that straight up, rack catch it, and you see you're getting five to seven yards. And this was literally one of the primary ways that people used to move the ball on offense. It would look something like this right here, and you know they would just basically play this game. And it's really good, it really is. Now, let me show you something else that you can do. If I put the running back on an out route like this, notice this real quick you see that i can still do this against that uh, quarter flat defender now another little trick that you can use with this this year is using ghost routes so this is a more of a hot route master thing but you're going to notice that that purple will no longer play the c route if i have a ghost route now let me show you what a cloud flat or i'm sorry a hard flat looks like so here's a hard flat you see he dumps down and notice that my c route is now open so they have to hard flat to stop the out route or they have to hard flat to stop the um, table route that you have stock on this play you don't even have to hot route it and then now you'll see here okay they can stop that but look how smooth this route running is on the c route especially against an outside quarter so that is a outside quarter with a hard flat i'll show you what a cloud flat looks like from that linebacker 
So here's a cloud flat. I'm just gonna kind of force feed it. Notice this real quick. I think that's really interesting. Notice that the C route is getting open against a cloud flat. That is something that we're not used to seeing in Madden. But what you'll see is again, the cloud flat sucks inside. I don't know honestly know why, but you see that it is consistently beating the cloud flat coverage to the short side of the field. So that's kind of um, some of those primary coverages. Now we're going to shift over to the cover three. This is a curl flat defender. Um, this is actually from the safety. And you'll notice that he kind of plays it, but kind of doesn't. And honestly, um, I think it's a little bit better of an example here. I'm going to go to that cover three again, but we're going to put him in a hook curl and just put this guy in a purple. Most people don't run just basic cover three. We'll come back to that in just a second. But anyways, you'll see... The purple doesn't really defend it. And the only, ironically, it's very interesting to me that the quarter flat actually gets better depth than the curl flat. And if you know anything about Madden this year, a lot of people are running curl flats because they're probably the best underneath zone. But you're seeing here that I'm having a lot of consistency um, in my ability to basically beat the curl, the curl flat. Now, if the curl flat comes from the safety just because of where he's at on the field. Um, you'll see it does... It doesn't quite get as open, and honestly, that is primarily because of where he's out on the field. It doesn't really have to do with the coverage. So a lot of people, what they'll do, like let's say you're gonna get a double, like let's say this guy's gonna be in a deep half, or maybe they roll a coverage. But my point is, if you get this purple from the left side, and it's not from that safety, it's not really gonna play the C route. So as you can see right there, I'm able to consistently throw that um, is if the purple doesn't come from the safety now we haven't gone over seam flats yet but this is what a seam flat looks like so if they have a seam flat on the field it's gonna basically play like a hard flat so it doesn't I mean at least in bunch it just doesn't really cover the C route so there's really only one zone in the game that covers the C route um, you know they could potentially do something like this and um, this is where you're gonna kind of lead them to where they basically have to double flat which I'll come back to in just a second but what you'll notice again here's the c route got a purple um notice it doesn't guard it and that is something that i think is really really interesting now cover three sky in my opinion does the best job um just a basic cover three sky right here you kind of have to wait on this um and you see it kind of plays it pretty well but again you have your running back wide open they have to double flat to defend this the other thing that's really interesting is if you notice where this route cuts you're gonna see that this route is going to break right about that 20 yard mark. Very interesting because most people run zone drops at 25 to 30 yards in terms of the depth that they're gonna put out there. One last thing that I wanna show, I'm gonna show it against man in just a second. I do wanna show cover two real quick. How does this work against cover two? Uh, we talked a little bit about it. If the cloud is backed off, it'll play it a lot better than if it's pressed. So you see right there in that example, the cloud was backed off. But now let's say that they press their let's say that they press their Tampa two. This is actually one of the best routes in the game, um, and you'll see right here. You see how I can kind of throw it. But again, the cloud will play it fairly decent. But notice the running back's wide open. Okay, that's kind of my big thing. Um, if you wanted to, you could put the running back on a streak. I'll show you what that looks like. It's just a little bit better um, in terms of like if they're this the purple will still cover the C route. But what you'll see here is that this running back on a streak. We'll kind of in a cover two it'll split the seams okay but anyways the other thing so one more thing about cover two real quick is if a let's say they're in a soft squat or a hard flat this is actually a very common adjustment from cover six or something if they're in a soft squat or a hard flat they're going to go to the running back every single time and you see how good this is to be able to beat that so basically they have to have a cloud flat from a tampa two it has to be from a tampa two or they have to have a, you know, kind of a quarter flat or a deep safety in a purple. So those are kind of the, the, the common um, the common things that they can do to stop this. Obviously, this ghost route, I can't stress enough, is one of the best routes in the game for pulling the zones. You see their Tampa 2 is probably playing it the best. But anyways, so now let's take a second and walk you through a double Mabel look or a double flat and we'll also talk about why I think that this is a very good uh, concept for double Mabel. And we'll also look at one of our other things with the C route. So we're gonna use Z spot and go. Now, if you go to PA post, I want you to look at something here. You'll see it's about the same. Um, so that was Z spot or PA post, that's Z spot. Pretty much looks exactly the same. Now notice if I put him on a hot rod master um, thing, it's a little bit different, it's a little bit more rounded. 
Um, so we'll come back to that maybe in a future video, but that's just something to kind of think about. So anyways, um, double flatting. Most of the time when people double flat, especially out of something like this, this is kind of the shell that they're gonna want to be in. Cover two to the left, to cover three to the right, 25 yard zone, okay? Now, if you watch the C route though, watch it. Watch what it does. See how you can cut it off and you can get it underneath a 30 yard or a 25 yard cloud. Um, and I'll show it again. So again, here is the setup. And this is very common. It's one of the most common defenses in the game this year, okay? But watch this C route. When it cuts to the left, just down and away pass lead, you can aggressive catch it and it basically cuts it off. You can possession catch it, honestly. I'll show you that real quick. But this is just something that I found that I thought, man, this is really good for double Mabel. If they're in 30, they basically have to be in a 20 yard depth to be able to defend that, which will leave everything else open on the formation. Um, so you see here, I can possession catch it and he'll kind of like post him up. If they have flat zone KO, that's one thing. But um, to me, this is something that you can actually use that is really good for the double Mabel out a bunch. And most people don't um, have a concept like this. If you want a smart route it, you'll see it'll make it run just a little bit shorter. Um, so you'll see here, it'll just run just a little bit shorter. You're just possession catching it. And again, you might want to aggressive catch it just to kind of make sure that he has the space um, to kind of jump back underneath it. Um, I'll show it to you one more time. This is why the hot route uh, master C route is fairly decent as well, but just low ball it, possession catch it. I don't know why Mike Evans is being weird, but I mean, again, we showed you the aggressive catch. The aggressive catch is like the, you know, if you need a fallback, just do that. Um, you ever get in trouble using aggressive catch. This year, aggressive catches are so good. Um, but anyways, just down the way, there we go. And you see that right there. So deep at elite really helps with this. Um, having something that they can have like a, you know, ability to be able to catch the ball is really helpful. Um, and then the other thing that I want to show you real quick is we'll show you man in just a second and match in just a second. Match and man are basically gonna, it's gonna basically work the same way in terms of how they're gonna play that specific route. So you're gonna be fine. But the other thing that I wanna show you is this quick out against this. So you'll see here again, that's gonna be fine. And there's that aggressive catch I'm talking about. And you can kind of aggressive catch this in a way that makes it very, you know, very um, effective. So anyways, this is the C route and this C route is super effective. And again, it's really good for zone drops, really good for almost every zone in the game with the exception of one or two things. And it's gonna force them to double flat um, in a kind of a unique way that if they do that, then on the right side, we've got a ton of opportunity with our corner route um, just in terms of how that works. Now, last thing that I wanna show you today is I wanna show you what this looks like against man to man. So um, let me just let me just throw it and then kind of like try to drop it. There we go. And then that way I'll get my double me thing, my double me thing um, unactivated. But I just want to show you what this does against man. This is also another reason why I started throwing these. I think that this is really good against man to man. So you'll see right here that it's kind of almost unbumpable. If you aggressive catch it, it makes it very consistent. You can possession catch it, but my advice would be to aggressive catch this route against man. So you're gonna throw an outside pass lead right on the break and you're gonna aggressive catch it. Notice that he dives almost every single time or at least he shields the ball very, very well. Now, of course, we have our running back for man to man. If we wanna put that out right out there, that'll be really good against man. Um, just throw outside pass lead, aggressive catch it. You see how the cornerback doesn't animate and that's what makes aggressive catching so good this year. For whatever reason in this game, um, if you aggressive catch, a lot of times they don't animate. And you'll see here, most of the time it's gonna be an unbumpable and you see how consistent it is um, against man-to-man -man coverage. I wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope that this video has been helpful just in terms of kind of coming back to a concept that I feel like most people haven't been running all season long that has been one of the best concepts in the history of Madden, but most people just kind of stopped using uh, C routes. And this route right here in particular gives you the ability to beat every zone in the game. And it also gives you ability to force a very unique type of defense that is gonna leave them very vulnerable to some of the other concepts that you have from the Gun Bunch offense. If you wanna learn the rest of those concepts, you wanna learn a little bit more about the C route, I would really encourage you to get into my Patreon membership. My Patreon membership is only $10 to sign up for and we'll literally walk you step by step through the best offensive um, 
game plans in the game, the best defensive game plans in the game. If you want to check it out, it updates every single week with new material. And we have over 25 offensive and defensive guides you'll get immediate access to just by signing up. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the membership, head on down to the description of the video. You can click the link that I put down there below. And it'll take you right over and you can check out the membership.